this is uh, Matthew Morgan coming back with another video and this one has to do with toxic relationships and toxic dating just wanted to say real fast though um hating ain't gonna get you nowhere in life and to be honest with you if you if you pay attention more to what's how something said, not what's said, you're gonna always get left behind. You feel me? Cause I did a video and apparently someone did not like how I said certain stuff. My thing is, I'm trying to make these videos with truth in them. And unfortunately, this generation is way too soft and the truth and how it's said it offends people too much but let me remind you of something for all y'all that follow Jesus and what not when Jesus was down here you think that when he found out what, had, what was going on with the church that he was all happy and had a good tongue about it Nope. Jesus went into the temple after being told that his image was being sold and his teachings were being sold for money. Went in there and said, what in the fuck? I repeat that. These were Jesus' words. What in the fuck do y'all think y'all are fucking doing in my father's house selling his god? Damn teachings for some goddamn money. Get all this shit out of my father's house right the fuck now. And then he flipped over some tables and called them some no good Pharisees, lying ass sons, of bitches. So y'all think Jesus never cursed? You're fucking wrong. Anyway. Back to my point, toxic relationships and toxic marriages. Anywho. So my point is as such, people don't realize when, when you get into relationships with people, There's people with angels and there's people with demons. And what I mean is, everyone you date or possibly have sex with, what in the hell ever, every time someone has sex with you or someone dates you, someone of their bad, how you say, their bad ways kind of leap off on you. Like, I mean, literally, that, uh, that person's bad spirit leaps off on you. Then the next person you date, that person's bad spirit leaps off on you. Everybody you date with a negative lifestyle and a negative way of doing things, that energy transfer, their bad nature leaps off on you, which makes you start to act more like them. And then when y'all separate, that person's bad spiritual nature sticks to you. Then everyone you date, you take a piece of them with you. That's why you should be careful who you date and have sex with because that person's spiritual nature leaps on you. And this stuff works two ways. Two ways. Either your positivity can make them positive or their negativity can make you negative. The energy transfers to people and they don't even know that. Yeah. So if you ever wonder why after every relationship you get into and get out of, you act differently throughout all your relationships, like if at one point in life you were determined, you was a hard worker, you had a nice personality, people liked you, 
Then you started dating a certain person and then you just turned into a jackass. You turned lazy, you turned selfish, and you turned ignorant because you dated someone that was like that. It's only because their negative energy merged into you and turned you negative. You stuck around that person way too long and then it turned you negative. And it happens. That's why you need to be careful of the people you date because you don't know the spiritual energy people are carrying while they're with you. So, yeah. Then you might slip up and have a baby with a person who has negative and bad energy. And hopefully it doesn't affect that baby, but... Every person you date after that person has to deal with the shit that person did to you. Even if the person you're with now never actually did nothing to you, but that person you're with now, all the bad stuff that person in the prior relationship did before this one, you're going to take all that out on them. Because while you're with that person, you see that person as the previous person you were just with. And and you might have dated 10 people that were poisonous and toxic to your life. Got scarred so bad mentally that now you don't know if you can trust anybody. Then you meet one good person. Now that one good person has to, well, don't have to. But if they love you enough, they choose to deal with all that. But here's where the bad part comes in. Say, for example, you were a good person before you started dating people. Then you started dating all the wrong guys or women. If all of them were that bad, then that spiritual wickedness or that energy will transfer to you and turn you that way. Then if you date someone else who was a good person and they took in all that negative wickedness, turns them evil. Then they date someone else that's a good person. They deal with that for a long enough period of time and makes them evil. Spiritual energy transfers from person to person. It, it all depends on how long you're with that person. So for people that wonder why um, was I nice, now I'm evil, or evil, now I'm nice. It all depends on the spiritual nature of the person you're around. Because if you date negative, your ass will become negative. If you date positive, you'll become positive. If you stay around someone long enough, that fire will start to make you hot or that ice will start to make you cold. So don't be surprised if, if you're real driven to work hard and get stuff out of life and do well, then you get with someone who ain't none of that. Then you try to help that person come up out that situation. But they're so busy trying to be lazy and live off the system and not care that you try to pull them up so much, you drain yourself trying to bring that person up. And then you end up not caring no more because you're like, yeah, I didn't try to do all I could. Screw it. It ain't worth it no more. I'm too tired to keep going. I got enough in life. Screw it. Energy transfers from person to person. So if that's not understood, it should be now. And oh yes, the other thing, and a lot of people always ask this question like, why is it when I get into a relationship that it seems like no matter what I do, it ain't good enough? To answer that question is particularly just this. You ask when you get into a relationship with someone and it ain't all the stuff you do ain't good enough. Let let, let me ask you this question quite honestly. Is it not good enough because you say it ain't good enough or is it not good enough because that person just don't appreciate nothing? Think about that shit. Because there's a lot of people on earth who, how you say, ain't taught to value people's hard work. So everything that you do for someone, they assume you have to do it just because you're with that person. So that means you owe them something because you're with them. Mentally, some people are like that. Oh, you chose me. You got with me. So you owe me. 
you owe me, you owe me, you owe all that type of shit. Truthfully. There are people with minds like that. So if you ever wonder why you get with someone in there like that, there's people that are like that type of, oh, you owe me, you got with me, I didn't ask for you to be in my life, so if I ask you to do something, there should be no problem, all that kind of shit. Then you got them people that when you get with them, they always dog you out and compare you to the last person they was with. And they only do that probably because the last person wasn't shit and they try to make you feel bad so you probably won't amount to anything. A lot of people got a bad habit of doing that. Like, oh yeah, well when I was with such and such it wasn't happening like that. Oh well when I was with such and such it... Well, you ain't with such and such and if it was so good when you were with... If it was so good when you were with such and such, why are you not still with him? You should start asking that question. Oh, but when I was with such and such, it wasn't like that. Well, if such and such was so good, then why ain't you with him? I think that's, I think that's enough of an answer in itself. And last thing. Why do I get dogged out by someone I'm trying to do right by? Because... That person sees you as the person they were with prior to getting with you. So any and everything you do, they're going to assume. Um, he might want something. She might want something. They might be up to something. They might be trying to use me. I don't know. What if I can't trust this person? What if they're only being nice because they want something? What if they're up to no good? People, some people's minds get trained like that. So I'm just letting you know. Spiritual energy transfers light or dark. It transfers from person to person. And always remember with human beings, iron clashes with iron like sword clashes with sword. Other words, you got two different minded people in a relationship trying to find closure. You're not going to find it because that person's hard headed ways are always going to clash with your hard headed ways. Y'all going to always be fighting and arguing and ain't going to stop nothing because y'all too busy seeing everything in your own way instead of trying to compromise and find some type of common ground that works. So if you get with someone who's always me, 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 my, 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 me, my, me, my. Have fun with that because your iron going to clash with their iron. Your sword going to clash with their sword. And all you're going to do is make a big ass fire. So, yeah. I'm out.